for St. Francis Healthcare's House Calls TV. Higher numbers of kidney stones here in the South because of what we eat. Dr. Denny Kubinski explains. Well, some of the things that cause stones are, are foods that are high in oxalate. So greens, tea, chocolate, nuts, and also foods that are high in uric acid, like meat, and also high salt foods. Pain from a kidney stone presents in the back or side just below the rib cage. It usually begins suddenly and is accompanied by nausea. One option is to pass the stone, but doctors at Roper St. Francis have other treatment methods available. Extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy or ESWA. And that is basically where we lay the patient on a table and we actually bust the stone up with shockwaves. The other option is to actually endoscopically go up through the urethra into the bladder and put a scope up the ureter tube, which is the tube that connects the kidney to the bladder, and pull the stone out. By far, the best option is trying to avoid getting a kidney stone. The number one piece of advice I could give is to stay well hydrated. Water is the best thing to drink, and actually adding a little bit of lemon juice to your water. The second one would be try to limit the amount of salt you eat in your diet. For more information, call 402-CARE. For House Calls TV, I'm Merritt Dempsey. Roper St. Francis Healthcare's House Calls TV.